Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Bobby Peacock here with Collision once again and today we have another encouraging word from a local youth pastor. This time we have Brandon Johnson from Oak Hills Baptist. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, my name is Brandon Johnson. I'm the Associate Pastor of Student Ministries over at Oak Hills Baptist Church. And I wanted to ask you today, what is the one thing that's making you sick? And I'm not thinking about infections and I'm not thinking about illness. I'm thinking about the things that we all um, have pent up inside of us, the things that, that make us um, feel shameful, the things that we hope no one ever finds out, the things that we know if it gets out, um, we're the next person to get canceled and forgotten and pushed to the side off of the margin of the page. Um, I want to read you a scripture today and I want to talk about something that maybe we don't talk about enough and it's just the act of confession. So the scripture is Psalm 32 and this is what it says. It said, blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, in whose spirit there is no deceit. For when I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my strength was dried up as the heat of summer. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Now, the best way I know to explain that word to you is it's basically taking something from the inside and bringing it to the outside. And so the best example is, is vomit, right? So when you get sick, you throw up everything that's on the inside of your body that your body is rejecting because it shouldn't be there. And confession is just the same. So all of those things, all of the, the shame and the shortcomings uh, and the failures in our life, we can, we can get them out from the inside and, and put them on the outside. And so a few years ago, I was on a bus and um, somebody in my team got a little sick and a little green. And I, I found this grocery bag and I, and I held it out in front of them and I wondered if I hear it, if I smell it, if I see it, I'm gonna vomit too. And so I, I held this bag while my dear friend vomited inside and he got all of this stuff out. But as the trip went on, um, he got a bit better and he got a little bit less green. And I would tell you that, that that's exactly the kind of thing that Jesus is inviting you and me into in this life is that we don't have to live in this world where we always have to um, hide in our shame. We always have to put on a good face and just bear through. But Jesus is actually inviting you and I to confess those things to him and even to one another, as ugly as they may be, because it's not until all of that gets out of the inside that uh, Jesus can fill us back up with his spirit, with his love, and with his grace. And I promise you that that's what he wants to do in your life today. And so, friends, I want to leave you with this question. What is making you sick today? And what can you confess to the Lord of all creation, to Jesus himself, so that he can fill you up with something different today? Thank you so much for watching once again. Make sure to answer that challenge question below of what is making you sick that you need to bring to the Lord. And like always, guys, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell bling, bling. to get notified when we're dropping a new video. We will see you in the next one. Peace.